Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Burkah Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, risking their lives and laboring in these last days to push this truth. Shalom. Shalom also to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Yaya Shar Allah from the GMS Italia camp. And I'm here with a quick one. Hopefully it's going to be edifying. So this is just going to be a little mixture of, you know, things that I came up with, you know, and the spirit just, you know, led me to do this lesson regarding this man of sin, you know, regarding this wicked and their God complex. So I'm going to, I'm going to start off by saying first, you know, things are about to really get heated up. Okay. So, you know, the faithful ones are going to be preparing their spirits. You know, they're going to be praying to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai to give them the kind of faith that they should, they would need, you know, to carry on in these days. Because these days you would really need a high dose of faith, you know, in order to give up, you know, these worldly things, you know. So anyway, I just saw this, um, I saw um, a video on Instagram yesterday and I went to search for this article which it's really interesting and i wanted to share some few thoughts regarding it so anyway um this is one of the this is one of the um the big ignorance you know amongst these so-called christians you know and all those fake hebrew israelites you know that are you know having different plans in this kingdom you know expecting different things to expecting that this pandemic should go down and so they can start up with their normal lives and stuff like that you know this is real ignorance because this man in power you know as you know him um his biblical nationality is um edom esau he has nothing but debt he is the harbinger of debt man you know if this man's kingdom keeps going on man always all all people is going to be dead man and this is just um this is the book of matthew um let me see. Shut in no flesh. This is the book of Matthew, chapter twenty four, verse twenty two, which quotes and except those days should be shortened, there should be no flesh. Death should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Man, except the most I Yahweh Hashem Yahshai shorten these days that we're about to get into, you know, no flesh is going to be saved, man. Because what's really coming is no child's play. And this man is really, <laughs> his, his handwork is the handwork of death, man. So I'm going to be showing you a few things in this video. So as you, as you know, this is the World Economic Forum. So you all know this is where they gather and, you know, they speak about the, the future of how things would be, you know. And this this is something from the, you would know who he is in a way. That's his name, Klaus Schwab. Okay, it speaks about the fourth industrial revolution by, by Klaus Schwab, in which we are going into the fourth industrial revolution. It has already started in a way. But now let's see what these people have in mind for you. Let's see what their plans are actually for you. Okay. So you can decide for yourself either to choose this life or choose the, the most the, um, or choose that which the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has prepared for you, which is something, you know, out of your imagination, you know, more beautiful than you can ever imagine. Now let's see what this man has inside for us. It says will be quit to us okay and if you go take a look at this word to see what it means how many presents you know presents appearing or found everywhere and that's just what this man wants to be you know he has this god complex he wants to be like god he wants to be present everywhere 
he wants to see everything you know he wants to now this is this, this takes me to this takes me to the, the book of um to the book of um revelation um i has um the horn eyes you know? Yes, this is the book of um, Daniel chapter 7. Okay. I consider the horns and behold, there came up among them another little horn, in which this little horn is speaking about um, the, this last people that are governing the, the, this kingdom now, which is America. This is speaking about America. Before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots and behold, in his horns, where eyes like the eyes of man and the mouth speaking great things this is america and you see this eyes actually represent his um his power to to observe everything to have these cameras to watch everywhere like if you look all around europe america and you know these countries that are you know let's say developed under this um esau edom you know they have their eyes everywhere they want to be omnipresent they want to have their eyes on everything they want to know what's going on so that's what this word ubiquitous means now if you go and look it up again you see it tells you omnipresent present appearing or found everywhere omnipresent present appearing or found everywhere so this man has this god complex he wants to be present he wants to appear everywhere you know he wants to know what you're doing that's why he's trying to do all these things. This is the fourth industrial revolution that they want for you. S mobile supercomputing, in which these are actually supercomputers that are really micro that could work in your brain. Okay, intelligent robots, self driving cars, neurotechnological brain enhancements. You can see now, listen, genetic editing. Okay, but wait ha ah, should just take a deep breath and this is just really on the on the website you know it's just free for everyone to read they're actually showing you the plans that they have for you and you know this sounds like you know transhumanism taking you away from being human and turning you to something else okay the most i hear how about shem shy after be after he created everything he said everything was good Everything that the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai created is, was perfect. You know, you don't need any man to go into these things and, you know, put a patent on it because that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to own you. He has a God complex. He has a God complex. Let's get another scripture. This is the book of um, 2 Thessalonians. Book of Second Thessalonians two. So let's read from verse one. It says, "Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai, Amashiach, and by our gathering together unto Him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word nor by letters, as from us." As that the day of Amashiach, Yahweh Shai, is at hand. You know, and that's what we're telling you people now, you know, trying to prepare your minds and your spirit. The day of Yahweh Shai is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there shall there come a falling away first. And that falling away has been a long time ago. You know, that's the last falling away was when we we got, you know, sent out of our house. That's in 70 AD when the Romans came into Jerusalem and destroyed Jerusalem and, you know, dispersed the people. That was the last fallen away. And that man of sin be revealed to son of perdition. And this man of sin is being revealed. People are getting to find out that Esau, Edom, the so-called white man is the devil of the earth, is the man of sin. 
okay even the, the, the last regular jake who doesn't know anything you know understands this fact even the edomites themselves they know they are being exposed in all angles okay who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called god all that is worshipped so that he has he has god seated in the temple of god showing himself that he is god okay this is what this man actually has you know this god complex you know that's what he is doing you know he wants to he wants to he wants to enhance he wants to put neuro neurotechnological brain enhancement he wants to edit your genetic you know so now let's keep reading the evidence of dramatic change is all around us and it's happening at exponential speed okay professor klaus schwab founder of the executive chairman of the world economic Pro forum has been at the center of the global affair for over four decades you know and that's his name that i showed you at the beginning he is convinced that we are at the beginning of a revolution that is fundamentally changing the way we live work and relate to one another which he explores in his new book the fourth industrial revolution you know, and that's the book right there previous previous industrial revolution liberated humankind from animal power made mass productions possible and brought digital capabilities to billions of people this fourth industrial revolution is however fundamentally different it is characterized by a range of new technologies that are fusing the physical okay digital and biological worlds so what they're trying to do now is to fuse in this technology into your physical and biological self okay impacting all disciplines economies and industries and even challenging ideas about what it means to be human is that not what we just read this man has a human um, he has a god complex you know he puts himself like himself like god he believes that no this is not the reading excuse me okay he has a god complex okay now let's get one more scripture um this is um oh um, excuse me daniel 11 daniel 11 36 this man has a god complex let's see this is the book of daniel 11 36 and the king shall do according to his will and he shall exalt himself and magnify himself and magnify himself above every god and he shall speak marvelous things against the god of gods and shall prosper till the indignation be accomplished for that this but for that that is determined shall be done okay neither shall he regard the god's god of his fathers nor the desire of women nor regard any god for he shall magnify himself above all well this scripture is actually speaking of um of um of antiochus the epiphany epiphany the fourth okay and you can find that in the book of um first maccabees but this same seed of antiochus are still the same seed that are ruling us today because there is nothing new under the sun and they have this god complex they magnify themselves above everything they want control of every damn thing in in this planet you know and other planets you know so you see and even challenging ideas about what it means to be human the resulting shift and disruptions means that we live in a time of great promise and great peril the world has the potential to connect billion more people to digital networks okay dramatically improve the efficiencies of organization and even manage assets in ways that can be that can help regenerate the natural environment potentially undergoing the damage of previous industrial revolution you see so they tell you to connect billion more people to digital networks okay well you can you can go read all this for yourself you know let's see if there is a point i can bring up you know there, there is a lot here man 
so anyway you can go read this for, for yourself if you go to the worldforum.org you know you have this fourth revolution you know by klaus schwab which he is the founder and executive chairman of the world economic problem okay so these people if you keep reading and seeing what they have for you they have nothing but debt they have nothing to promise you you know they have nothing to promise you because we know that through the scriptures that they will never succeed with these plans that they are trying to bring out so it makes no sense that you fall for all this in order to get some bread for for the meantime and still get destroyed you know it makes no sense because we know that um um fill his belly we know that the most high is going to take over you know they would not succeed this is the book of job chapter 20 verse 23 when he is about to fill his belly god shall cast the fury of his heart of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating so we know that when this man is about to fill his belly when he's about to accomplish all his plans you know the most high yahweh Hashem yahweh shai is going to cast this fury the destruction is going to come and they would not succeed so it makes no sense that you stand on the side of the loser man so this is another 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 what do i call it another um, article i saw yesterday okay and i thought i should share it with you so as you can see it says a gene editing experiment lets this patient with vision loss see color again so you see they came up with this gene editing so they're making it sound so great that they can edit your gene and you know make you do things that you could not do before so Kalen Knight's vision was so bad that she couldn't even maneuver around the call center where she works using her cane. I was bumping into cubicles and really scaring people that were sitting at them, says Knight, who was born with a rare genetic eye disease. But that's changed as a result of volunteering for a landmark medical experiment. Her vision has improved enough for her to make outdoor ways navigate hot walls spots and spot objects and even see colors it's nice i don't scare people and i don't have any i don't have as many bruises on my body night say is laughing okay night is one of seven patients with a rare eye disease who volunteered to let doctors modify their dna by injecting the voluntary gene editing to CRISPR directly. I already did a lesson regarding this CRISPR. So what they do, it's a tool that permits them, like if you know how to edit videos, how to edit, you know, um, audios and stuff, you know, where you cut, you paste, you know, you put some effects and stuff. That's the same thing that Esau come up, you know, it can play with your gene, it can edit your gene and do all sorts of different things, you know. This is the God complex that he has, you know. But the most high Yahaba Shem Shai is going to put him to shame. Okay. That's so you, you can see this is how they package the thing, they make it look so nice that oh, they finally have the power to do this gene editing things. And I had a video that I put here. Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to play this video. I hope it's not going to go under what do they call it? Um copyright, you know, but you can go to the page and watch this video. It's just two minutes, you know. So as you can see, let me take it back. Watch as this assembly line pumps out tiny machines called micromotors. These micromotors are only a few hundred micrometers long, and they can move when put inside a magnetic field. Scientists propose that micromotors like these could one day deliver drugs inside the body or clean up. So as you can see, this thing is not something new. We've been hearing lately that this thing is in the Vanessa juice. Okay, we've seen different videos and you can't say you, you haven't seen any video regarding these things. These things are inside the Vanessa juice. Okay, and um, you know, this is what Esau have actually been working on. 
all your tax money this is all this wicked um experiments they've been carrying out okay this water by absorbing pollutants micromotors can propel themselves in a number of ways a popular way to get around is to use a chemical fuel such as hydrogen peroxide so as you can see these are actually micro robots they call them nanobots very very tiny that you can't even see them with your with your naked eyes man and they can they can you can they they receive instructions to do different things in your body you know they say they can make them carry medicines mm, do this all different kinds of things you know but anyway you can go watch this video for yourself because i don't want them to put me on now let me try to send it forward a little bit well as you can see man this is really crazy you know Micromotors from graphene see. until now. To make the micromotors, the team developed a cheap microfluidic method. The team pumps oil through a solution of graphene oxide and magnetic iron oxide and a solution of sodium alginate. What comes out are tiny corkscrews with an oil droplet head. We can stop there. Now I went to the comments and you can see the children of this world are wiser than the children of light in their generation, just like the scripture says, man. People are really, you know, they know, they know what's going on, man. <laughs> they know what's going on, you know. I'm just going to leave it there, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, as you can see, those who wish to save their lives are going to lose their lives. And those who are going to lose their lives for the sake of Yahweh Shai are going to gain it, man. It makes, that that's the only thing that makes sense, man, you know. So it makes no sense that you're trying to save your life for some bread now in order to lose it in a very bad way later, okay? Now let's speak about this man a little bit, you know? And it's God complex. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14. I'm going to read verse 13. This is the book of Isaiah 14, 13. For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven, in which it did. I will exalt my throne above the stars of, of Yahweh, in which he cannot even, in his widest dream, he can't do. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the height of the cloud. I will be like the most high, you know. But what's going to happen? Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. Okay. They that see thee shall now really look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that this shed kingdoms, that made that made the world as a wilderness with his bombs and his um um is different chemicals that he has used to destroy the world and destroy the cities thereof that open not the house of the prisoners okay so this man you already know is not going to win Esau Edom the so-called white man white man I mean those who are ruling this this kingdom you know the big banking families the Rothschild the open diamonds the bars you know these people are not going to succeed and they have their lesser luminaries like you know um gate to hell you know um this klaus um shribes that we just read about you know um the frotches and you know all these people are less luminaries that are working for them you know they are not going to succeed with these plans that they have you know so now is the time you should choose to stay on the side of the most high yahweh Hashem yahweh shai because he's the only one that can save you know this is the book of um I'm going to read the book of obadiah okay and a hey, excuse me i'm going to share one scripture regarding you know what's what i brought on this um on this gene editing you know in which you know they say they give visions back and stuff like that you know because we have it in the scripture where it's written in the book of um revelation 13 revelation 13 you know this is how he tries to catch the people and deceive them you know So as you see, if any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and faith of the saints. 
this is what we know we know that this man is going to go down he's also going to go into captivity hard hardcore captivity man you know okay now as you see what we just read about the gene editing stuff you know and this is the book of revelation 13 14 and it deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do his technology his gene editing stuff all these things they sound so cool man by the miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast in the system saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by his sword and did live well this is going to a different thing you know it's going to the time of um of the renaissance you know when um before the renaissance when they actually lost power and came back that's the beast that had a wound you know and did leave anyway this man has a god complex you know but he's going to lose at the end of the day let's just bring up the last scripture and we can wrap this up this is the book of obadiah the vision of obadiah does set the lord yahweh concerning a dome okay adawam we have heard a rumor from the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen Edens. Arise ye and let us rise up against I in battle. The Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai has prepared battle for this white man, man. He's going to be the he's going to end up in a very awful and wicked way. And those who choose to go with him are also going to perish, you know, with him. You know, all those who don't who are scared to lose whatever that they've 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 put aside in this kingdom, they they're not praying for the kingdom of Yahweh Shem Yahushai to come. You know, they see no kingdom outside this kingdom. You know, all of them are all going to be destroyed with this so-called devils, Esau, aka the white man, man. The pride of thine heart had deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rocks. It was a caveman, Esau, Edom, the so-called Caucasians were cavemen, man. They, they used to dwell in caves, you know. They are the real Neanderthal cave, cavemen, man, whose habitation is high, that said in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? You know, they have a God complex, man. They believe no one is going to come over and take over this kingdom that they've created in all sort of wickedness and suffering, but, you know, to their widest surprise thou hast exalted thyself as the eagle and thou hast set thy nest among the stars whence will i bring thee down said the lord yahweh shem yahushai yes they set their nest among the stars you know putting their their satellites and the house space right there you know um now this is verse six how are the things of esau searched out how are his hidden things sort of like all the secrets that they, they speak together in this their witch covens, you know, the forums, the world forums, the G20s and the G whatever, you know, all those meetings that they have, you know, in hidden places to destroy, to destroy humanity, you know, they get surprised that whenever they have these meetings, when they come out, you know, you have people already, you have just, you know, the low class people of the societies, you know, speaking about their secrets, their secrets are being leaked everywhere. You know, the man of sin is being made bare, you know, you know, the man of sin has been revealed. Everyone knows the people that are causing the wickedness, the calamities of this world that, 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 that we're going through, you know. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that ate thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. Can and this is what's going on, you know. If you if you if you if you if you're observing what's been going on, you know, between um France and United States, you know, United States they they, they played they played smart on France. You know and this has been causing a little thing you know between the europeans and the americans you know people have started to you know have some kind of wicked thoughts in these people and the most is going to put some wicked thoughts in the heart of gog and magog according to the scripture and they are going to all go against america you know they're going to destroy america america is going to be a wilderness okay and once america falls you know all the rest of his allies all the other kingdoms that are based that are 
you know eating the dainties of america they are all also going to fall so it makes no sense that you should get scared and you know you know bow down just to get some bread for some for a short time you know from this man and lose your soul your soul is the most precious thing you should you should preserve man Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has better things that he has kept aside for us, man. You know, he said that eyes have not seen, neither ears have heard. That's which the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has promised to those who love him, man. Hey, I'm going to stop here. I hope this lesson was edifying. I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rukah Kodash. I double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. Until the next one, Shalom.